So, Ollie, first of all, welcome to Salford. How do you feel now that the move's finally completed? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking looking uh, forward to getting started with the boys. Um, I know I've got a few weeks before we're starting, but I can't wait to get in. Uh, both our season we put short, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in with the lads. I think I remember you saying in the past that your dad had a massive influence on your career. How are your family and how have they reacted to this move? Well, they just said that I wasn't happy at Wigan at the time because I weren't playing as much as I wanted to, so they knew that I needed to play and I wanted to play, so I think they just supported me and they'll, they'll definitely be wearing Salford shirts this year. <laughs> and you're, you're still a young lad in comparison to sort of the rest of, of Super League. How much are you coming, looking forward to coming in and working with the likes of Paul Rowley and Kurt Haggerty? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Ever since I spoke to Paul um, a few months back now, I was just like the way he thought. And I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to working on him. And we've got quite an experienced part of the likes of Jack Armand Droid and King Bunny Awa. How much are you looking forward to getting amongst them and learning from some of them? Yeah, definitely. They've, they've been there, haven't they? Played for some good teams as well, and now they're playing for Salford and doing it for doing it for them and getting them right where they should be. Um, yeah, hopefully I can add a bit to them and they can add a bit to me and complement each other. And did you speak to anyone before before you joined? Obviously, I know Amir and uh, Sarge and, and Joe Burgess, so I've, I have spoke to them and they did help my decision coming in. And what did they say while they played? So they just got a, a good good group of lads and they really enjoy coming into training and working hard for each other. And you've also made your England Knights debut, I think it was against Jamaica, uh, and you've also been called up, so obviously congratulations on that again. How did that feel and how much are you looking forward to progressing in your sort of international career? Yeah, definitely. It's one of my one of my dreams to, to play for England and hopefully one day I'll do that. Uh, obviously Knights is a is a stepping stone towards that and getting the system. Uh, so yeah, the, the lads who are playing there will inevitably play for England one day. So uh, yeah, it's good to be a part of that group. And looking ahead to next season, Salford have obviously had an incredible year, just falling short on an appearance, another appearance in the grand final. What are your sort of personal and sort of collective aims and objectives for next season? Uh, I just want to get, get playing with the lads and earn, earn the lads' respects first and then hopefully go on to win some big games and, and hopefully push them a bit further on this year if I can add anywhere. And the Salford fans are obviously known for the noise and made a lot of noise against Huddersfield and then St. Helens in the semi-final. The South Stand is pretty famous for that noise. How much are you looking forward to playing in front of them and what sort of message have you got for them? Yeah, massively. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll never forget when they filled it out at TW 2019 when he went on to the grand final. But yeah, there was, there was really loud and I'm, I'm looking forward to playing in front of them and uh, hopefully uh, earning their trust and their spot.